The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with your host, Larry Pezzavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pezzavento. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman sitting here for Larry Pesavento. Usually I'm doing the 11 o'clock show, the Tiger Technician's Hour, and my, my own service here at TFNN is the opening call, a very comprehensive daily newsletter that goes out uh, starting at about 6.30 or 7 o'clock every day. And by 8.35, we have my final thing, which is the Traders Corner with the positions we have, with the positions we want to get, as well as many uh, um, ETFs like the GLD or the TLT or the DIA or the SPY that I give parameters for. So it's a very comprehensive look at the markets and uh, also the dollar give parameters. So well, let's go straight to the uh, to the charts. And what we're looking at here is the E-mini is up 350. Earlier on, it was way up at 1929.50. So what I uh, show and what I do, give my subscribers every day I first of all start off with this chart right here. Uh, this is the Dow chart. I give an analysis, and then I give a further analysis, and then I send it out. And it shows the patterns that we're looking at in the chap wave. It's a very simple uh, methodology. And what, what we're looking at is uh, from the lowest, most obvious low bar, we merely count each successively higher peak and expect four higher peaks. So there are um, seven legs to the upside or four waves, and the fourth wave is D. If you get to a C in a sideways movement, that can often fail. And that's what I call the rectangle formation, the one that turns out to be a lowercase h that can turn into a lowercase m. That's exactly what we've got. At the same time, we can also get the cup formation. And that's the complexity. Markets travel only in three, uh, three ways, straight line up, straight line down, arch, or cup. And the arch and cup have a variation because it could be an arch, could be an inverted V, and a cup could be a V-shaped pattern, but it's, the principle is the same. All right, so let's get to the nitty-gritties. What we're looking at here, going back, oh, and then that's the first thing I send out, my Dow report. Then I give a very comprehensive look at these. this quintile here. shows the 120-minute Dow chart, the 120-minute VIX chart, the uh, daily trend, uh, Richard Arms a short-term trading index, the Dow daily, and this is just a bar chart, the S&P daily with the patterns. These arch formations can often turn out to be nice moves to the upside on a test of the low. This, there was a chance that could happen here. It could still happen, but it, it says that we should still remain in within the rectangle formation. I did have a signal yesterday, uh, uh, something I've developed over a very long time. It's called the Chapman Wave Trend Gauge. Uh, it gives a reading at, at highs and reading at lows that, that imparts information about the next day or two in the market. The one applies to the S&P, the other applies to the Dow. And what it said yesterday, that regardless of how high the futures, uh, futures contracts go overnight and into the morning, I, this is it's always unbelievable to me that this can even work and it's got a, a, a success rate of like 97 percent maybe 98 percent so it says that the Dow even though the Dow futures were up 80 something even now the Dow futures up 35 the Dow contract itself the cash index should go even if it's just minus one it should go negative sometime early morning before a rally attempt is um, is made and so now let's go back to the e-minis because this is the what I sent to my subscribers. I showed this chart right here. The, the, hunt, the daily is over there. This is the weekly. I, always, I, I used to not show the weekly, but it's been so important to show that the weekly was failing, that the weekly technicals are very poor. And this is the e-mini, the December e-mini. And that the 120-minute the chart had gone peak A, B, C, D, and instead of turning down, it had a recycle to the upside when EF and hit exactly the 200. You know, Larry does not use moving averages. I've always used moving averages. So everybody has a different technique. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, I think, is just that that's the name of the game is to be able to repeat over and over and over 
what works for you. And in this case, the 200 period moving average, bam, at 1929.50 uh, uh, in the futures is actually 1929.39 is the, uh, it doesn't know about futures trading in 25 cent increments. Um, got hit and plop, it came down. I also showed uh, in the center of the Denner chart earlier on to show the 120 minute chart that made a peak E and that it should be pulling back uh, um, quite sharply, which it's done. It's holding the support here. I've got another chart, I think, a little one, uh, one that shows a little bit uh, more the, is this the one? Yeah, it shows the Georgia period exponential moving average. My guess, we're at 1912, we'll get close to just a test of the low today of 1909.25, probably go to 1909 or just a little lower at some point early on if there is that weakness and then we've got and then the real trading day will start. All right, now we've got that out the way. Um, there are a couple of things I've got. Terry on the line, Terry from Orlando. Terry, how are you? I'm good, Basil. Hey, um, I'm not calling about the FX. Can you hear me? Yes, I certainly can. Okay. Yeah, the FXCM stock, I don't care about that. It's the actual trading platform and the company. Um, I know uh, if the den's on, you got a lot of listeners. The FXCM is a Forex uh, trading platform, right. and they've had some problems. Um, oh. I tried to get on it this morning. I'm locked out. You can't call them. You can't get a hold of them. Uh, so anybody that deals with the Forex or FXCM better um, kind of, you know, see if they can follow up on the account. Because if you're in a position, it's one thing trying to get into a brand new position, so that's missed opportunity. But if you're in a position, especially since we've had a very volatile early morning so far. Um, wow, that is very tough. I'm not sure exactly what one can do because, you know, sometimes I, I always recommend that you have a couple of ways of being able to uh, get to your trading positions. But in this case, if you can't even call, that's very difficult. Right. And, and this is the largest uh, trading house for the Forex in the United States. Um, in January, they um, almost failed. They had to get bailed out. Um, and then August, they, um, I think there was another thing about them, you know, um, you're potentially failing. So who knows what happened or why you're locked out or why you can't get in. I'm just sure there's a lot of people in the den that probably use the FXCM. Okay. So. I, they're, they're right now, Z in the den is saying, uh, bailed out FX broker FXCM says it was hacked, resulting in wire transfers from customer accounts. Oh my! Right, that ha that was a that was a blurb on Bloomberg this morning about 6:45. Um, but the problem is, is that the company itself is not giving any information. No, you know, you can't contact them, you can't email them, you can't do anything. You call, and basically the phone hangs up on you. Oh my goodness, that's that's really not good news. So um, now, is that your um, one of your platforms? Is that the platform that you're using? That is the platform for Forex that I'm for, using. I, I mean, I, okay, I have yeah. other, and I have a real small account with it, but it's still it's money. And yeah, of if course. I can't, if I can't get to it, and other people can't get to it, you know, and it's very odd. You know, I was going to try to contact the FTC. FPC this morning and see if they know anything or can do anything. Um, but what do you do? You know, if you, you know, can't, I, I, everything's this is, electronic and you can't get a hold of people. Yeah, this is a very difficult situation. I discussed this a long time ago as possibly one of the areas that we have to be very, very um, cognizant of because. It is, in essence, warfare. I mean, if it's done by uh, uh, foreign entities as a means of, of, of attack, um, this is just one of those many things that, you know, we're tootling along here happily, and out of the blue, something like this happens. It's You can say it's beyond your uh, control, and it absolutely is, but somehow or other, I'm not sure how you can ameliorate a problem like this, because if you have other accounts, you can't take the other account and trade against the account that you have no concept of what's going on. Right, so exactly. you, you, you're in limbo. It's a very difficult situation. Wow, I do feel uh, uh, empathy with you because this is 
I mean, this is like one's worst nightmare. In in right. your case, at least it's one. It's a small part, but it's it's money, as you say. It's just and it's your your account. It's just uh, right. something that you should be able to be be. Um, it's bad enough when I I remember the the two that that you remember we had that May uh, flash crash back in two thousand and was eleven or twelve, right. and I remember that um, almost all the platforms that I have were way, way down. I was looking at Tom's Bloomberg. I, I think Bloomberg must have been, I'm not even sure if I, I, I'm being gracious by saying they were 30 minutes behind. But I, I was trading on a particular account that was to the split second was working. I was able to put on trades just, I, I, in fact, it was almost like I was playing uh, as if I was uh, one of those famous pianists playing one of those famous trills like the Tchaikovsky trill and the, uh, uh, no, the Brahms trill in that famous uh, concerto. And it goes, and that's how I was hitting the keys. And every time I hit the key, buy, sell, buy, sell, it was so quick that we're like three to four points or five points even um, in the trade. And that you could never do that if you're behind. Not only what happens if you're in a slow-moving environment, right. the click that you make doesn't show the response for quite a while. Sometimes you can sit there and it's still active. A minute or two later, you still don't know if it's gone through. So right, I, still, this is not, this is it, not it, good. It, yeah, if the platform was down, that's one thing, but not being able to reach the broker or this is the not trading good. company, that's not good. Now, the question kind of expands to, you know, because, you know, I have a couple different accounts, some with large brokers, some with small brokers, just to, you know, kind of avoid this kind of thing. But, is you know, what's the probability of this happening to, you know, equity brokers, you know, some of the right. smaller, like the discount traders and the discount trader traders. I mean, but Terry, I think that it's disappear? something that we absolutely have to be aware of. And it's one of the reasons why, um, you need, as as Z in the Den is saying, uh, redundancy. You need to have doubled up your ability to be able to get there. This is freakish in the sense that there is just a total blackout, and this right. is almost this is almost what happened in the crash of 1987, October the 19th. I remember sitting there. Um, fortunately, I had enough information from the charts that I could actually see in real time but the response to brokers etc and in those days believe me you had, you had to use a telephone there wasn't anything else you had a, you had to call up to find out they were hours in some cases it wasn't until the next day or even the, the middle of the week that was a monday it wasn't a wednesday whether you knew if in other words you could have put in a sell and then a buy and they could have got mixed up in the speed you could have the buy could have gone first and the sell could have gone second. You could have landed up in a position that you had no no clue that you were in. So right. uh, I, I hope you'll um, kind of keep us informed uh, about what's going on because yeah, this if is. If anybody in the den knows more, you know, throughout the day, um, you know, please let people know because I know you guys are all over the world and so is the FXCM. Okay, well, thank you so much for calling. I really hope it works out well for you. Thank you, Terry. Right, right, thank you. Folks, we'll be back. Well, Larry Chuck Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading newsletters.
TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. We're back. Basil Chaffin singing for Larry Pesavento. So we're looking at chart patterns. And remember, Bud Rolfs used to say um, that patterns can move uh, sideways for a while until they go from one channel low to the channel high. And this is what we're looking at here. And I've been drawing channels just as long as I've been tech, doing technical analysis. I used to do hand charted by pencil and using a geographic a, 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 um, uh, engineer paper with the little squares. And um, most importantly, what we're looking at here is this rectangle pattern I spoke about moments ago about in the Dow. Look, there's that rectangle pattern unfolding right here in the E-mini 10-minute chart. And what we're looking at is that there's a pattern with the resistance at... 1914.50 and support at 1909.25 and so forth. We're trading in the middle of that. And the candle looks like it's about to move up, move up. But you never know because sometimes what happens is it just hits that resistance, goes to the top of the boundary, and then starts on its way down. So we're going to be looking at that. The Dow will be opening, uh, the market will be open, open in five minutes. Now I wanted to show something else. Here, here it is again with the uh, nine period exponential moving average right there the black line the the coral color 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 is 200 period exponential moving average and what we're looking at is a slightly above but it's got that pattern that uh, um, rectangle pattern the little arch formation making a second arch let's get out of that and what i want you to do is to see if i can get to right here crude oil is having a big move obviously it's middle east related but you know what's interesting remember the pattern i just showed you see we're looking at 
we're looking at um, fractals. And what is a fractal? It is, it is a pattern that repeats in any time frame and on uh, probably in most charts, in most chart patterns. So what we're looking at here is that arch that I just drew, like this here. This is going to be the challenge for um, crude oil. This is the continuous contract. This here is the, let me just draw this for you. Go back a little bit. Look, so here's the, in the Chapman Wave methodology, you look for the lowest, most identifiable lowest low. And that's that low there, obviously. The low at crude oil is a continuous contract on the 24th of September at 43.71. Um, what's important about this is that it, it coincides with the rising stochastic and the MACD that suddenly turned around. The, here you've got 45.17 as the high at noon on the 24th, and you've got 45.18. See, if you don't, the only objective and the only criteria for the Chapman Wave methodology is that you're faithful to identifying each successively higher high or lower low. It's, it's the waveform that never sleeps. Uh, and now what we've got, remember I said four peaks higher, peak D is what you want. That's the objective in the Chapman Wave. Bam, go to peak D, pulling back. What's the next thing? What did we talk about? Straight line moves. We spoke about cup formations and arch formations, right? So we've got a low now. Oh, of course, I'm doing this. I cannot be wrong because I'm, this is history from, from um, 9.27 in, the, in the Eastern time in the morning. I can be wrong. But at this particular point, all I do is I say, there's your A, there's your B, there's your C, there's your D. Here comes E and it's got a left side, right side price time match to this. Let me just quickly draw it. Look from there to that very obvious high. I'm going to double that to the right. And we're going to go green just to show you what I'm looking at, bullish, in the cup formation. And we got there three bars early. That's usually very positive. Normally, I would have taken the time to draw in um, what I call the left side, right side, from the bottom to the top, matching that that right side extension, horizontal extension, and that would have been the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line right there. So it got there a little early. Aha! The high that we'd be looking at now is 47.15 at noon on the 23rd. So let's just put this aside for a moment, put it down there, keep it active. I'll put it right here so you can see it. This is live. And now let's look at the monthly chart. That monthly chart is just horrible. It gives an extension, a one-to-one -one extension, from the high that was made in July of 2008 to the low that was made in February of 2009 to the bounce peak F high of May of 2011. Um, actually, I took it from the trend line. It really should have been from that high there. I'm going to go back and do that. I was doing that previously. And that says there could be a pullback in crude oil at some point to the 13 area. I just, you know, I use that now just say, hey, put it aside, keep it in mind. This dashed line here that you can see in crude oil, that is the most important line. And we've been testing it. I'll talk about that as soon as we get back. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry. Please call. I'd love to hear from you. 877-927-6648. Be back straight off the these investments. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization 
authorization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everybody. Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesavant to trade what you see. It's my pleasure to be on. I believe Larry will be back tomorrow. I think he's traveling today. So I was here. I was just about to go out to do uh, to go to the gym. Oh, I love the excuse not to go to the gym. I'd rather be playing tennis. Anyway, um, so here I am. And look, you remember the Chapman Wave uh, trend gauge? Very high success rate. Futures were up over 80 points in the, in, in the, in the Dow almost uh, 14 point, 13, 14 points in the futures, in the E-minis. And look what happened. The Dow went negative at the opening. It went down to 16,278. Yesterday's close was 16,284. So it's only by six points. But I I don't know how that works. It is just a, it's a remarkable thing. And uh, anyway, OK, so back to our story. We were looking at um, crude oil. And what I was showing you was this thing, this this is the chart. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, down. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let me go here because this is the chart that I want at CL. So, all right. Whoa, look at that. And I, I'm a little behind. In fact, let me just run the numbers here. The Dow is up 
42 at 16,327. S&P is up for 1924. Uh, the composite index is down 8 to 46.12. Apple's having a tough time. Uh, gold is up 60 cents at 11.15. Uh, silver's up 0 0.08 at 14.60. Platinum's up 9 at 9.13. And this is going to be interesting. You've got high-grade copper up a little bit at 2.34. But there's your crude oil up $1.87 at 46.96. Bonds are up 28 at 158.07. We'll talk about that in a moment. And the um, dollar should be down. It is. It's down 17 cents at 96.31. Oh. What a fascinating, oh, you know, the market. That's why I think some of us just love the market so much. There is just so much going on that um, to keep focused, you really have to have your fingers in a lot of pies and then just zoom in on something particular. Because if you, if you do everything, too many, too many, um, too many kettles on the back burner there. Um, so this is very interesting. Here you've got crude oil going in the sideways range. I've been talking about that for a while, saying that the low of 44 to 43 should hold uh, at this point if this pattern is going to continue, but that there should be limited upside and that upside should take you to maybe the 48 area. That was 48.01 was the high on the 17th of September. But a break about 49.33, the high of August the 31st, that would be something completely different. It'll still keep this pattern, the H going to a lowercase m pattern intact. But what will happen is it'll say you have saved for a whole month. You've been saved even though, look at this. You're talking crude oil, right? Have a look at these two bars. This is the monthly chart. Have a look at those. Well, this has just started. I want to look at that bar there. Have a look at those two little bars there. It isn't often that you get, you know, you have to go all the way back to 2014, back in March and April, where you've got these two tiny little candles like that. Normally, uh, crude oil is trading in, in, a, in quite a big range. So this is very interesting because what it's saying to me is that in the context of world uh, commodities, oh, I want to do that as well because this is Larry's show and Larry always talks about commodities. In, in, in the world of commodities, I'm going to show you this chart here, which is the dollar TR CCI. It is the Reuters Equal Weight uh, Commodity Index, if I can just get this across right here. And you'll see there's a slight difference now. There's a, there was a very, very long-term uptrend. And this is the reason why I've been talking about there is inflation if you're just living your day-to-day -day life. But this is a period of choice. And that choice applies equally to all the commodities, almost all the commodities, I should say. But it also applies to the interest rate sector. There is competition going on worldwide, and we have the highest rate. And the other countries are lowering and lowering. They're doing what we did initially, the Japanization of bond yields to zero. And that's now the Dow's down 13, S&P's down two and a half. Oh, what an interesting uh, indicator that is. So Thomson Reuters continu Continuous Commodity Index, monthly with Chapman Wave notation, shows that that low that started off, um, and remember, this, is a, this gets smoothed out because it is a... Um, uh, Reuters Equal Weight Commodity Index. So when you take the low that was established back in about October of 2001 and you take it to the low of December of 2008 at 323.20, you'll see that we have pierced decisively both in the gray, very long-term uptrend line, in the dashed green downtrend line, and in the 200-period coral colored right there at 417 support line trading now at 391 up 2.62 and look the macd is still negative although there's a gentle rise in the histogram of the macd that's just basically saying that the difference between the nine period differential the green line and the uh, slow moving average is is um, coming together and you've got a soft w formation in the monthly chart of the stochastic it made a low around about January of uh, 2015, and now it's higher, but prices are lower. And that's saying at some point you will get 
a spike in this for an H pattern. But as it stands right now, we still have to contend with the chance that we are looking at a deflationary period and that commodity prices and general prices are giving you a choice. In other words, you can go out and buy yourself a BMW or a Mercedes or a Lexus or a, or, or a Cadillac. But you can also go out these days. I go to the auto show every year. I always report on that. You can buy a $15,000 car that has carpeting. Some of us will remember that there were cars that you had a choice of carpeting or no carpeting. There's carpeting, air conditioning. There is every accoutrement that you want. And maybe you'll bump it up to 17,000 instead of paying the 40s and 50s and 60s. So this is a period of choice. That's what the Internet has done. This is going to be the era of choice. And it's going to be very important that we keep that in mind that it's happening in the market itself. You don't have to buy stocks. You can buy ETFs. You don't have to buy ETFs. You could trade uh, the Nadex platform. That you could just go on and on and on. It is a period unlike any we've seen in the history of mankind, as far as I'm concerned. Um, well, I haven't been around for all of mankind, but you know what I mean. Now, look at this arch formation in the weekly chart of the equal Reuters Equal Weight Commodity Index. You see from that high that was made in May of 438, it's called a 439, down to this low right here of 407. If you put a green line for the upward movement and a red line, equal uh, line to the downside, that takes you to around about 381. What was the most recent low back in August? 382. So that's another technique. It looks like a plus sign, doesn't it? But it really, what it does is it gives you, let's think of this as a, a shoulder, head, shoulder, and the neckline. It gives you a proportionate uh, move to the downside. Okay. Well, if that's the case, that monthly chart that I showed you of crude oil is suggesting that in the future, it's not saying tomorrow, what it's saying is, um, it's saying that that move to the downside, especially when I put it together, and tomorrow I'll be talking a bunch about my uh, socioeconomic, the, the market, my trends watch uh, 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 things that I talk about. About how long does the monthly chart go back on TRCCI? It goes back to 2000. Um, I believe that that's it. This one only goes back to May of 2001. I used to have, oh, oh of, of TRC, TRCCI. This one actually goes back quite a bit more. Uh, I believe it goes back a lot more. Yeah, this goes back to 1966. And I will actually take time. I don't know if I'll have a, a time. I'll try to do it this weekend because it's really important to put into context with other eras. But it does go back. And I, let me do this. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, I can't. All right, let me try it this way. Okay, there it is. That's what I want you to show. Look at the black line. That's the uh, nine period exponential moving average on a monthly chart. And you will see that there is the high that was made back in 1980, December of 1980. Oh. Yes, December of 1980 um, was way lower than where we are. So we've had a huge inflationary spiral. And now we're looking at a potential trend to the downside. Think of this as a shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. And now we're breaking. If, if we do break the neckline, and that would take you down to, well, the neckline itself is at 323 level, and we're at 391. So, um, yeah, I, I think you're right. Uh, there's plenty of downside, but when you get the stochastic bank in this formation, you've got to be prepared that there could be a bounce at any point, or for the first time, we might see it flatten out because we've never seen the MACD do this, this right shoulder failure pattern right there, that H pattern. So this is going to be very interesting. All right, enough with that. We want to get on to other things. What I want you to do, since this is uh, basically Larry's time, and I'm just uh, I'm a guest here, let me do some of what I know that Larry likes to do. Let me look at the dollar, and I'm going to put the 120-minute chart back up again, right there. Yeah, so this is the Reuters Equal Weight Commodity Index. Now I'm going to go to the DXY. This is the dollar. And the dollar chart is saying it made a peak C, in the 120-minute chart, 
But it is un no, it's not. Yes, it is. It is under the previous peak D, and that says that it doesn't have to go to C because that could be a failure pattern. Peak C failures are very negative. So it's saying that the dollar is at a very critical level right now. It's down nine cents at 96.26. It's making that H to an M pattern in the in the daily. The weekly chart still hasn't broken that the downtrend, the dash downtrend line it really isn't to get to the 9730s. And I, I believe me, if it goes to 9730s, I think gold will have a hard time. I think crude oil will come back down. In fact, if you think of it the way the way it's working out right now, in terms of the, the crude oil, uh, there, there is a lot of crude oil out there. There's just a glut of crude oil. They're alternate energy sources. I, I don't see crude oil having this. A mass, I can see it rallying, but I don't see a massive spike. Uh, um, that that kind of thing we saw back in the 1970s, or we saw back in 1970, uh, 2005-ish. Um, no. So okay, dollar is very important. Dollar break below 95.70, uh, right there means it's gone back under the nine EMA, and the stochastic goes underneath 77 to go to 74 or 73 and the MACD will start to fail. So right now, it's holding well. There's nothing wrong with the dollar uh, in the shorter term. Intermediate term is good, is okay. The technicals are not that great. So it's really the monthly chart that's saying just a high level consolidation because it wants to break out at some point above 100.39 for leg C in this incredible monthly chart. Look at that month. Remember the patterns that we talk about? The big... I used to show this back in 2003 and four when I started at TFNN. There was a, I, I can't get it anymore because they don't have it. But the gold chart back in going to 1999 had this incredible bowl formation, like a like a cup that stretched out. We call it a bowl formation, and it broke out and it just screamed up. And now what we're looking at is the dollar has the same kind of pattern. And the stochastics are under 80% in the monthly, but the MACD is still holding very well. Nine period moving averages are 95. It's at 96.26. Very important period because if I look at the EUR, USD, euro currency pair, it's in the downtrend. It looks exactly the same except it's reversed. It's a mirror image. It's under the 200 period moving average. And if that's the case, it's saying that there should be an arch formation that retests the low of 1.046. If, and this is a big if, if this low here uh, from July of 1.0807, a, a monthly close underneath says, be careful, you can test the low. Same as the upside. If the dollar does break down, uh, and it's certainly, I mean, you know, we, we, we're not in command of that. It does what it has to do. So if the dollar breaks down, uh, you might see a pop above 1.171 for leg C or B if it's this month, October. And remember, October is often the month that sees a low in the market. So we're watching this very closely. Now, I need to do a couple of things here. I just want to get rid of this here so that it doesn't overlap onto my chart. Good. <clears throat> Look at this. The volatility index, VIX.X. It's, it's, it's down 29 cents at 24.21. Dow's down 20. <clears throat> S&P's down almost three. So the fact that it's holding here, even though it's down, continues to say to me, be a little careful. And, and for my subscribers, we are, we are not, uh, long positions are not, maybe very short-term, long term I call them tradables, just, just quick trades. But I, mostly our positions are on the short side. I believe, no, actually, let me get into this right now. We're talking about the VIX index, and we've got a break coming up. And remember those Ds I was talking about? Made a D in the, uh, made a D in the VIX index, 120-minute chart, 22.76 is a sport. I want to talk about the tide. I'll be back, and we'll talk about the tide. That's a chapter sitting in for Larry Pizzamento. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Hello, we're back. So let me just quickly do this. Uh, there are a couple of things here. Um, I had a call. I had a, an email in my own show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, yesterday, and they said, uh, was it day before? Maybe it was the day before. I love your left side, right side price time match. Could you, could you, you know, uh, elaborate more on it? And I said, you know, this is something you really need to have, uh, like a, like a, like a webinar or something, because there's, there's, there's a lot that goes in, but it's perfect when you've got an exact left side to a Doji candle, low or high, uh, because what happens then is that it is an exact mirror image in time and the chart formation usually. And I always say that unless it's crash mode, most of the time prices go up at the same rate that they come down. I know it doesn't sound true, but believe me, 80% of the time, it's just not even 20%, but more than 80% of the time, the market is just going up and down um, with the rhythm, a very important rhythm. And that rhythm says, and I'm very into rhythm because my degree actually is in, in music. I have a master's degree on clarinet, um, 
So I was a professional musician for 20 or more years at the same time as I had my service. So what I'm looking at here is that the rhythm of the market going up. Yeah, look, you had that straight line move to the upside. But in time and even generally in price, uh, there was just this crash thing that happened a few minutes ago, uh, 30 minutes ago, where there was a spike to the upside in the E-mini to 1925 and then a plunge. And what did it do in the exact left side to that doji candle of uh, 2150 that's nine at nine ten to ten uh, yesterday um, on the 30th um, there was an exact to the doji high of 350 last night at one uh, the first uh, in the morning to there look the exact bar and if I took it I had a question why didn't I take it to the low the reason why I took it is I like to take it once you're in the movement, I like to take it to the most obvious movement, which in this case is the doji. Not quite a doji, but that was the candle, and it was done earlier. And then, of course, the left side low of next importance would be the low of uh, 11 o'clock, 11.30 on the 30th um, at 1904. So there it is. So there are a couple of things going on. I, I, in my show, I'm going to, at 11 o'clock, I'll talk about the tide. The most important thing, if the monthly tide is going down, you will be safe for in short positions because the tide is going down, just as it does on the upside. Hey, I'll, I'll be back in two hours' time. Thank you for being here. Stay tuned for Tom O'Brien. Larry will be back tomorrow. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.